getting bowled over by how much care and thought these churches are putting into the spiritual nurture of children under five instead of sending them off to Sunday school or, or, or babysitting them. They're really thinking, how can we engage spiritually with children at this age? And what can we learn from them in the ways that they engage with God? Kids Church is Thursday term time tea time and it's um, a vibrant, lively community. We never know how many people are coming, but we get on average about 40 people each week. The children arrive and have a period um, of making crafts, they do some crafts and then we go into church for a time of worship and then we eat dinner together. What I'm aware most of all is actually what they come with. That These kids, you know, perhaps not really um, have been to church before, um, they might get some religious education at school, but regardless they have a, a deep spirituality and um, we'll talk about issues around love, around forgiveness, around being fair and nearly every one of them will offer something to me um, that's just welled up from themselves. Children love pressing buttons, so do we, so we brought something with pressing buttons. Uh, children love computers and technology and video, so we brought all those three elements together to produce something that really, uh, hopefully, really excites the kids. And amongst that, most important to me is exciting the kids about the faith that I have. The best thing about working with drama is that it's a way with, of engaging with children in order to help them make contact with God and feel the heartbeat of Jesus as we explore the stories of the gospel. I just love the opportunity of building children up with confidence, with a desire and passion for Jesus that will make sure that their lives will receive healing as they go on through their lives. And once you uh, make links with children and build relationships with them, you build relationships with their, their parents and their families. Um, so that's one way through holiday clubs, kids clubs. Um, we've had a youth club um, in the past. Um, we've uh, mums and tots uh, for uh, um, under school age children. So many families don't have much time together. So uh, we thought, well, let's do a style of church where families can do stuff together. Uh, we eat together, we do craft together, and we learn about God together and hopefully along the way have a lot of fun together. It's great, it's interactive, it's fun and it's light, it's not too serious uh, for people who are on the edge of faith just to find their way in a bit. I got all of these families together and said what would you like and eventually we came up with the fact that they would like to worship together as a family and could we look at something in the week which brought us to trying out an all-age worship on Wednesday afternoons straight after school till around up as well. I love the way people come in with, with the children and there was, like today, there was tears, there's laughing, there's everything, there's all natural life happens in this space with God and I just think that's wonderful and it blesses me as well. I love the, 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 the child-likeness of their faith and when I look at God through their eyes, when I look at the world through their eyes, it's renewing me in a sense. I'm seeing things in the way I've not seen them for a long time. I think perhaps I've got too old and um, started to see things in a different way. And my greatest joy is to see these mums from the Sheffield Manor estate shaking their shakers, shouting, I believe in Jesus. So, yeah, yeah, what a great way to carry on. There's an innate um, knowledge of God in, in kids and I feel that we're just bringing that out. Really.